friend Baltam, founder of the Linux Distro community, has put together a wonderful release which is great for old hardware and for beginners to use. And I'm speaking about Linux Lite. We're going to have a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, let's begin. I decided to just go ahead and install this in VirtualBox uh, so that I could have the full desktop experience. Now, I really didn't have to do that though because um, the one thing that I really liked about this distribution was it had perfect out-of-the-box support. I was even able to do compositing on this thing in live mode in VirtualBox. So I really love it when, you know, developers, you know, think of those little things to be able to give the user, you know, the, the perfect feel for the operating system, if you will, before even installing it. So I really like that. All right, well, let's begin with our tour. Uh, if you look at the upper right hand side of the screen, uh, you will see that you get a clock and when you click on it, it's a calendar. Oh, something I might add. The, the uh, panel is actually located on the bottom of the screen when you install it. But the thing is, I prefer to put my panels up at the top of the screen. It's a personal preference, and that's a nice thing about this distro, that you can easily customize everything. Uh, you've got a battery indicator for those of you who are using laptops. You get the uh, you get the lightweight with the network manager, and uh, this is telling me that I am connected to the network, and all of your uh, network configuration settings are taken care of here just by clicking that icon. Uh, you get a volume control and two desktops to choose from. You also have a nice lightweight LX terminal here that you can use. You have a quick access to the beautiful and elegant Thunar file manager. Additionally, you get the latest Firefox web browser pre-installed with this and in the toolbar here you have a link to the Linux Lite help which has a bunch of really good information that I even learned something on. Uh, this uh, explained to me for instance how to be able to uh, access another computer on my network and transfer files back and forth and this showed me how to do it uh, in a very easy way without having to use uh, TeamViewer like I had been doing before. Uh, so it tells you all about your home and menus, your settings, uh, network, this is that section I was telling you about there, uh, software, and uh, online support gives you all the information for connecting to the LDC. Alright, when we click our menu here, uh, you have the option to run a simple program just by clicking on this and you can just type an item that you would normally type into a terminal, but you could just put it in here. Now this is install updates. When you click on this, you get a prompt. And basically, this is something I have never seen in a Linux distribution before. Uh, so this is just something to keep it really nice and light. This is something you just run maybe once a week. And all you do is just give it your sudo password. And what it will do is it will pull the servers and see if there's any updates. And of course, I haven't run any updates on this, so I know there's going to be a lot. Next, we have settings. And you have the settings manager right here or you can get to items individually now not everything that is listed here in the settings menu is showing so you may actually so for instance if you want to maybe do some partitioning on an external hard drive or something like that and you need the uh, the uh, G parted uh, partitioner you'd have to pull that separately so not everything in this listing here is available right here but the thing is, everything you need to uh, customize and get the most out of the system is right here, such as accessibility options. You can change the appearance of this, and there are a number of uh, themes that are pre-installed with this, as well as wallpapers, which are really nice. You can also configure your screensavers. You can do uh, some really neat tweaks with this. So, for instance, let's say I want to enable some compositing and uh, have some nice little effects going on. I can actually do that. I can change the opacity of the window direct decorations. You'll see how that's changing here. Maybe if I want to uh, change the opacity of the windows when I move them, I can do that. Pretty cool, huh? So, lots of cool stuff here. All right, and then in accessories, you get an application finder, another link to help and support. Uh, 
a quick access to your home folder. You can take a screenshot, task manager, the terminal, a simple lightweight text editor, and a file roller for unzipping and compressing files. Now, Voltem, the developer of this distribution, is also a gamer. There are no games pre-installed on this, but it does give you some links to getting the most out of gaming on the system. And this is one of the things I think that Voltem had in mind when he developed this operating system in that he wanted to have a nice lightweight system that would not be too heavy on resources so that he could devote those resources to gaming. Now, you have a link to the Humble Indie Bundles. I highly recommend that you support these because for any price that you define, you can get some pretty good free games that will run beautifully on Linux. And the nice thing is you can even get a key to redeem on Steam and then install them from the Steam interface. How cool is that? It does have Steam preloaded with this. Also, uh, the Steam driver information tool and the Steam homepage, a quick link to that. You get the GIMP in this version and a simple image viewer in graphics. In internet, you get the Firefox web browser that we were just looking at, the Mumble voice chat. Let me show you this. I think this is a nice little touch. When you click on Mumble voice chat, it automatically gives you an option to connect with the Linux distro community. You also get Thunderbird for mail. I already mentioned the lightweight WICD network manager, and then you get XChat IRC. Now, in XChat, though, once you launch it, it doesn't give you an option to automatically log into the Linux distro community. Uh, there's a suggestion for you, Voltam, um, because I know when I uh, installed Linux Mint and I ran XChat, it automatically takes you to the Linux Mint uh, IRC channel where you can get support. So that would be a nice little touch I'd like to see in this distro. Not a necessary requirement, but the thing is the uh, information on the Linux distro community website tells you exactly what you need to do to get logged in here. So it's really not that hard, folks. No Linux distro would be complete without an Office Suite. And of course, this comes with the LibreOffice Suite 3 and a simple PDF viewer. In system, yeah, get the icing on the cake here. And I think this was a really nice touch that Voltem put into this. Uh, this is for addi installing additional software. Now, in this menu here are a bunch of scripts for installing things. For instance, let's say you want to turn this into a multimedia system and you want to do some video editing. All you have to do is click this link and it will download all the uh, codecs that you need. It'll download OpenShot and a bunch of other stuff, which I thought was really cool. I played around with this the other time and then of course if you're if you're new to Linux and you want to try and get some of your Windows programs working this installer will automatically install wine so that you can have that uh, functionality available of course a bunch of other things are in here so definitely download this and check it out you can also configure your network sharing on this you can install or remove software and this is the tool that you use for installing packages on the system because unlike Ubuntu or uh, Linux Mint that has their own software centers, with this you get the Synaptic Package Manager. And I do realize that for some people this may look a little bit daunting, but I cover this so heavily in my show on YouTube that really it's not that hard to wrap your head around if you're a beginner. So, really good program for getting pretty much everything uh, that you could possibly want. There are so many packages that you can get in the repositories because this is connected to the Ubuntu repositories. Also, it's great because you can go on the Linux Mint forums and the Ubuntu forums for support. So, if a question isn't answered on the Linux distro community pages, you can still find it um, on the uh, Ubuntu or Mint forums. So, very nice indeed. You also have an NTFS configuration tool. You get a partition manager, uh, cups for managing your printers, resource usage also comes with this, system information, and a task manager. A quick launch to lock your screen, and then of course, an option to turn off your computer. All in all, very nice piece of work, and something I'd like to share with all of you beginners out there. 
If you really want to know how to fully customize and get the most out of this, I have a tutorial series that you can actually use with this distribution. It is called the Linux Mint XFCE Bootcamp. And everything in that series you can do with this distribution. How cool is that? You gotta try this distro. Bottom line, wonderful distribution for old outdated hardware that could just be sitting in your closet collecting dust. Also, fantastic for beginners. If you don't get a copy of this distribution to at least try it out, you're really missing out on a good piece of work here. Mm -hmm.